Welcome to Daron Yoga, everyone. Today we're going to look at Vata Yanasana, the horse pose. It's a pose from the intermediate, the second series of Ashtanga Vinyasa. It comes towards the end and it requires quite a lot of hip opening, as you can see in this picture, a bit of shoulder opening and balancing. Um, I'll try to show you variations and modifications so it'll be as accessible um, for everyone as possible. Um, that's it. Just careful of your knees. If, they, if it feels too much tension there, please don't push through it. So we're going to come up to standing. We'll start with the variation as it goes through the vinyasa. We'll bend the right knee into half lotus. We've got Marley as a spectator. And we're going to lower the right knee down to the ground. See you later, Marley. And then traditionally the right, the left heel would be touching the right heel, pointing sideways. I kind of keep it a little forward. As you can see, I was pointing at my bandhas. Belly is going slightly in to help stabilize. And I'm taking the arms as high up as I can. I have the right arm underneath the left um, to mirror the leg that's in half lotus. Hold here for five breaths and then release. We technically jump back. I'll show you that later. For now, I'm just going to show you instead of the foot on the ground, you can have the knee on the ground and that makes it just a lot more manageable. So an option to work towards. Another variation, a little other modification, a little more user friendly, as I don't have half a lotus at all. And I'm still practicing this, still a bit of balancing, still lifting up, opening the shoulders until the hips are open enough to take the half lotus. Um, so remember, you can start with easier and slowly, slowly develop to more um, advanced. Here's another variation, um, looking at it from the other side. I have the knee down and I'm still doing the variation, okay, not just with the other leg. Um, here is the variation with the half lotus knee down, again, but without the foot on the ground. I think this would be really the place to work on it. Until you can get to the half lotus, I just wouldn't really bother with this pose. It's too intense. And then as you work towards it's more of the full pose, you place the heel down as close as works for you to the knee. Um, I like the foot forward, but again, Ashtanga traditionally would take the uh, right foot, in this case, turning out to the side, lifting the chest, gaze up. Let's look right now at the full vinyasa of the pose with the practice. So come up to standing, take the right leg, place it in half lotus, take the bind, work on the right knee coming down, and slowly, Exhale, forward fold. As you take the right hand down, you're going to release the left arm to the floor as well. Lengthen and then jump back to Chaturanga while you keep the half lotus. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Up forward, right knee comes to the ground. Left foot is right in front of the right knee. Foot pointing out sideways. Got the right arm underneath the left, lifting as high up as possible, and keeping the bandhas alive, the gaze goes up, breathing and staying steady and calm. To release, place the hands down to the ground, step the left foot back, take your vinyasa with a the half lotus, you can always jump back instead of stepping back, and then we're going to switch the leg right here, you can use your hand to help yourself to bring the left foot into Ardha Padmasana half lotus, jump it forward, Left knee is on the ground, right foot, right heel is close to left knee, opening to the side. Got the left arm underneath, and then lifting up as high as possible with the chest, so there's a sense of lengthening here. Breath, drishti up, and then slowly we're going to release the hands down, step or hop it back, taking your vinyasa. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha, exhale Adho Mukha Svanasana. Up the foot forward, you're in half lotus, take the bind and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming all the way up and try to release slow and with control. That's all folks. If you like this, please remember, hit like, leave me a comment. I love seeing your comments and seeing what you think, what else you'd like to see which videos, um, and share this with your friends. Thanks again, and see you all soon.